namaste i am coming to you with an english concept now people across the world may not believe it but there is sufficient proof to show that most of the words in english have originated from the world famous knowledge sanskrit india is a republic and the second most populous country of the world other than sanskrit which happens to be india's oldest language there are 22 languages spoken and our motherland has been the greatest country with so much of diversity but living in unity the oldest language of the world is the dravidian language tamil and that comes from india sanskritam or sanskrit belong to the indo aryan european languages sanskrit is considered as the mother of all languages because it is the holy and divine language spoken in the vedas as i said before it has the clarity and beauty of expression writing came to india much earlier and many other civilizations as old as 500 bc any foreign languages have taken their roots from sanskrit english also has many words from sanskrit let us see a list of such words Uh, and you would be really interested in knowing or seeing the influence of sanskrit on foreign languages let us watch the list matru in sanskrit means mother in english pitru in sanskrit english papa or pope musha that is in sanskrit it means mouse in english lingam language akrish attract biksha beg alayam asylum ashwasana assurance anta end bala able aksha access brahmam abraham Nava, nine. How many foreign languages have taken shape from Sanskrit, the ancient language of India? Our motherland has been the birthplace of civilizations and have contributed to the world's best languages ever and the culture. The ancient wisdom of India, our motherland, that has Tamil and Sanskrit. as their oldest languages is thus the single most reason for all of us to respect our country such a motherland which has a great tradition a rich culture has been the birthplace for all of us too salutations to the motherland next time when the national flag is hoisted when the national anthem is played you must all be saluting the flag and stand in attention paying your respects to the motherland and you must feel that oneness in your hearts for truth from all of the above discussions we have to understand that our india is shreshta great bharatam with diverse linguistic cultural diversities held together with a national identity and woven with values of love truth and tolerance i have asked you quite a few mcqs as usual you will answer them and i'll meet you with yet another session thank you